Hi students, now we are going to do simulation of uh, further observed MBPT algorithm for PBRA. So this is a simulating model used for doing that experiment. So this simulating model consists of different blocks. So this is nothing but step block. This is constant. So this is nothing but PBRA and this is diode this is mosfet capacitor diode inductor capacitor and then resistor so <coughs> this is nothing but p and mbpt so this is the block inside the block we have this okay so this is consist of uh, different um, assembling block so bus selector product unit delay and then add and then this is nothing but a switch so here we have uh, a constant block this is the gain block and then this is switch and also switch this is also switch and then add block so this is limit uh, duty cycle that, that means change duration block and then this is nothing but memory block so this is feed volume generator block okay so first First step in order to implement this P and O MBPT for solar PV system. So here you can see that the load, this is load, right? So this load can be connected to the PV array, right? Via this converter. So this converter nothing but a step down converter or buck converter. So here we need to design this buck converter L value and the C value. So based upon rating of this PV panel and then voltage requirement in the load cell right so based upon these two things so we need to design an LNC okay so first I'm going to open one summling uh, model right so I'm going to click this sum link and then I'm going to open untitled model and then I am going to save this model right so PO MDPT okay so next we have to implement this simulation right first we need PVRA right so PVRA so now to get the PVRA go to this so that when here you can click this one you will get this sumlink library browser right in browser you can go to power system in power system click specialized technology and then you can see that renewable renewable side right? so click renewable side right? and then click solar so after clicking solar you can see that pvr so so this is a pvr model implemented in the MATLAB so you can track and then place here right so first here you can fix the PV panel rating so just you have to place number of panel equal to 1 here number of panel equal to 1 okay and then I'm going to choose uh, 250 watts panel right so I'm going to select 250 watts panel and then apply so here you can see the different parameter the maximum power of that particular panel open circuit voltage and then uh, voltage at maximum power point short circuit current and uh, current at maximum power point okay so and also you can see the different uh, details here right uh, that means i'm going to draw the pvib curve for that particular model with the specific temperature uh, here you can click and you can choose this one array at 25 degrees celsius and specific degree radiations and click plot so here you can see the different graph for the different irradiation right so here you can say the maximum power this is a maximum point for that uh, 1000 watts per meter square okay so maximum power is around 250.2 watts right and then voltage at maximum power point is around 30.7 volt for 500 watts per meter square so maximum power is 124.3 and then 
x and then voltage at maximum power point is 30.51 okay so here you can see that uh, pv iv curve for that particular pv panel okay so here you can see that uh, the voltage of the panel will be the maximum voltage is around 30.71 and then maximum power is 250 watts right so first you note down this detail so because we need to design that lnc value right inductor and capacitor for the uh, that buck and water right step down converter so so next we need to fix that uh, output voltage so here we are using buck and water the input voltage is around 30 points on volt so i'm going to design uh, that load load voltage is around 15 volt right so for that we have the design equation here so click the so this is the design equation for a uh, buck and water so here first you need to fix the PV panel power. So here PV panel power is 250.2 and then input voltage is voltage at maximum power point so which is equal to 30.7 and then I'm going to fix the switching frequency for that uh, buck converter is 10 kilohertz and then output voltage of that load or converter which is equal to I'm going to fix 15 volt and here I'm going to fix the uh, ripple inductor current uh, that mean ripple capacitor voltage right is 0.1 percentage of I out max and 0.1 percentage of the V out right so you have to fix this one in order to calculate LNC so this is a formula for calculating L value of that uh, buck converter and then a C value for that uh, buck converter and finally we need to find the, uh, the corresponding r value that means uh, load value for that uh, buck and water. so just go to fill, the, fill this detail right and then run this code so here you can see the value for lnc here so l is 4.59 into 10 power minus 4 and c equal to 1.39 into 10 power minus 5 and r value equal to 0 0.8993 so this is a designed value for that buck and water lnc value for that buck and water so next we need to connect that that means we need to create the buck and water uh, here so in this model you can see different block right here we need to connect step input so it's constant right so comes to this sibling browser a library browser and goes to uh, commonly used to blocks right click commonly used to blocks so here you can find out constant right so drag that one and then connect here okay and then we need step right step input so for that go to source click source and then you can see here right step <laughs> and drag and connect here so here you can fix that uh, step time equal to 2.5 and the initial irradiation that means input for that pv array is irradiation temperature right so this one is irradiation this one is temperature so i am going to change the irradiation from 1000 to 500 after 2.5 seconds so initial irradiation equal to 1000 and final irradiation equal to 500 and I'm going to fix the temperature of the PV array is 25 degrees Celsius. Okay. So next, so next we need to connect uh, that mean diode capacitor, right? So diode you can uh, you can take and take you can take from this that when it comes to power system specialist uh, technology, and then you can see the power electronics, right? So click power electronics and then here you can see the diode so here you can find out diode so just you go to drag and place here and also i already told right how to take that uh, capacitance that mean uh, rlc right so goes to elements here right goes to elements so this is our uh, uh, that mean under in fundamental that mean specialized technologies right and then here you can see that series rlc branch okay so and then we want that MOSFET right so MOSFET also also uh, in, uh, in comes under power electronics click power electronics 
and then you can see that mass part. So mass part. Okay. So now everything okay. So and one more uh, one more thing. So we need to measure the output current and then load voltage. Okay. So for that we need to take uh, click measurements and then drag current and then uh, and drag the voltage measurement okay and then you need a product right uh, for that go to top and then click math operation math operation so here you can see the different mathematical simulating block right so we need product right so here you can see the product so you can track and then paste here and then we need scope right so already told scope is available in the sinks right sinks and then click here right next we need to do this uh, first we connect this this uh, pv array with the load right after that comes to this implementation this block right so first you have to connect these things okay so first we need to connect that diode right so first you connect this diode and then we need to connect the capacitance so, so just rotate control r and And it here okay so you want to use capacitance so click capacitance and then change to c right that means click the dot series rlc and then change the option is c right so and then we need to connect mosfet just you have to connect this one right and then we need to connect diode also one more thing i mean diode right so you need to connect diode so just you to this copy and paste so one more thing you need to rotate this one so click click this block and then control r so it will be rotate connect here and then connect this one okay so and then we need to connect inductor and capacitance so you can copy this block right copy and paste and rotate and connect here and then copy once you copy and paste and connect here connect here right and then change this one to inductor l okay and finally we need to connect load right so for that just you copy this one and paste so before that you need to measure the current right so place this current measurement here connect the current measurement and connect this one and connect here and then change this to r value right r so connection almost over so finally you need to measure the voltage of this load right connect this voltage block here and then we need to see the power right output power so just you to So input will be voltage and current of the load and then output will be power so we need to measure power of uh, source side as well as load side so we need to input to uh, input port for that scope so just you would click this one double this scope and then go to view configuration properties and then change number of input port ports equal to two and then change the layout equal to two or else you can see in same window so i'm going to select <coughs> two and apply so now now you can see that two port is available i'm going to connect the load power in the second port right so later you can connect the input power in the first port right so this uh, first he created this model that means load is connected to the pv array via buck converter and next we need to change the parameter of l c and r right so already we designed that value right so l is 4 e power minus 4 point something right so just copy that one and paste here 
and then copy the C value and then paste here and then copy the R, R value and paste it here right so here we need to fix the capacitance value right so you can use uh, 1000 right or else you can use same value of uh, design value so this you can copy this one you can paste it here right and apply so next we need to implement this block right that means this is mbbt block right so already i explained uh, in, in the classroom right uh, that means this block that means flowchart right so first we need to measure the voltage and current of the PV panel and then we, we need to measure change in power, change in voltage. So next we need to check the change in power whether it is greater than zero or not. Okay. So based upon this condition we need to check the change in voltage. So based on change in voltage you need to decrement the duty cycle or increment the duty cycle. Okay. So this is the P and algorithm. So how we can implement this algorithm in the simulink, right? So this is a assembling block or assembling model for that in the MPPT algorithm. So here we need to use first selector, right? So first we need to take first selector. So for that go to commonly used blocks. So first you can see here, right? Bus selector. So just click bus selector. So bus selector now that, that means we need to measure the PV voltage and current. So, so just you go to connect this M right M directly to this bus selector. Okay. And then click this bus selector, double click that bus selector. So here we need to measure only voltage of the PV and current of the PV. So click PV and select. Click IPV and select. And then remove this signal. Click signal one, remove, remove signal two, and then apply. So here you can measure. First one is PV voltage, second one is PV current. Okay. So next you need to find out P of K, right? So for that we need this again. We need product, right? So, so for that, go to math operation, right? Math operation. So, here you can find out that product. So, click and track here and then multiply it voltage and current. So, we'll see that the power. So, this is the power, right? Now, so next one is uh, uh, we need to use this one delay block and then addition, right? So, addition the math operation here you can see that add function add some link block and then you want to use a delay right so far that go to discrete here you can find out that unit delay right this one unit delay use this one the symbol of this uh, add will be plus minus so plus minus so just connect this one directly and then connect this one here and then connect here so here now we will get the change in power del p so this is del p right so next we need to measure a del v right del v so same block you are going to use just you have to copy and paste and then you can paste it here right so input for this log is voltage so this is connect like this okay so here we will get the del v so this is del v this is del v okay so next we need to use this is nothing but switch right so we need to use a two switch so three switch right so two for del v and two for del p right so that switch block can be found from the uh, signal routing right here you can click signal routing and then see here switch right so this is switch block so just drag and then tag three model right 
so now first we need to connect del b in the here right so del b is connected to here right this one and the top this output will be connected to the first input so this will be connected to the third input okay so next we need to use constant block right this is here constant block right so that block available in the commonly used to blocks and constant so we need to rotate this one control r and then we need gain block also here you can see the gain block so rotate that one control r and then this value should be minus one okay minus one and uh, <clears throat> next we need to check the voltage condition right that means change in voltage so connect this here and connect here so based upon condition so negative that means uh, minus del d is going to be connected here and connected here the plus uh, del t going to be connected here and connected here right so just you have to connect this one here and then this one here and this one here and then this one here right so del t i'm here to choose the value is 0 0.0001 right so small change in duty cycle right so i'm going to consider 0 0.001 okay so this is a block is implemented here so next we need to use addition and saturation right so addition already we have yeah, that we, we can use the same block and then but you need to change this symbol that mean sign right plus plus so next we need to use change duration change duration can be found from this uh, discontinued continuities right so here you can find out change duration and also you need memory block right so memory block can be found from the discrete right here click discrete and then you can found here memory so connect here and then rotate this memory so connect the output of this saturation block and then connect to this plus okay the final output of saturation process with a pdlm generator right so you can found the pdlm generator that means you can take that pdlm generator from it comes to power system and then control and motion right here you can see the control and measurements click control and measurement and then pulse generator pulse and signal generator so here you can see that pdlm generated dc to dc right drag that one and then connect here so the frequency will be 10 kilohertz right 10 kilohertz apply this final output going to be connected to the MOSFET IGB so sorry gating of the MOSFET right so next you need to measure the input power so this is going to be connected to here right so this is input power okay so everything is completed right but we need to add on one more thing nothing but the power GA right so we need to connect power gi so then only this model will be work okay i'm going to simulate this model for five seconds so everything is completed okay so next i'm going to simulate this model now we can see here we will get the output right So this is the output of uh, input power and uh, output power. So after 2.5 seconds, uh, irradiation change from 1000 to 500. So you can see the difference. So now we can see that the oscillation very we have some uh, that mean power oscillation is very high in the system 
so now we can change this oscillation by just you change this uh, capacitance value to 1000 e power minus 6 okay and then check the result Now we can see that our solution of input power is reduced because the capacitance will be store the energy right continuously because based upon this switching right so we need to choose this capacitance uh, correctly so then only we will get the continuous current flow and power flow in the source to load right so now we can see that the power oscillation is almost reduced right so next we need to check the change of power because of change in radiation right so this is 250 watts panel now we can see that power is maximum right that mean input power that mean uh, 1000 watts per meter square 25 degrees celsius the maximum power from the panel will be 250 watts right so after 2.5 seconds the irradiation change from uh, one, uh, 1000 to 500 watts per meter square right that mean uh, pv have maximum power of nearly 125 watts so you will see that power level of this input pv okay now we can see here that so power trying trying to extract that maximum power right is oscillate around that uh, maximum level right so this is the result of this uh, p and o mppt algorithm so this this is can can also uh, this oscillation can also mitigate by changing that uh, uh, change in duty cycle also so i am going to increase now i am going to increase this duty cycle that means decrease the duty cycle that means change in uh, uh, small change in duty cycle okay and then i am going to change the model property right here i am going to check od 123b so here you can click this one so this is solver so initially solver is fixed at uh, auto so that 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 mean it normally select od 45 so we need to change that solver to ordinary differential equation 23 db right okay and then simulate the model So now when I am change that uh, change into the circular, that the simulation will be very slow, right? So once again I am going to uh, reduce that one and then check the simulation result. So this is a parameter we can change here, right? We can change that. Uh, small change in duty cycle and also you can say, check the uh, performance of the bnd algorithm okay so everything can be checked here so next one thing is we need to check this one right uh, here you can that see that the, the upper and lower limit of the duty cycle is fixed in between 0.5 to minus 0.5 okay so i'm going to change that the upper limit to one and the lower limit to zero right normally the duty cycle is in between and 0 to 1 so that's why i'm going to change that upper limit and lower limit to 1 0 and then now we check the response of the system so let me change the step time right i'm going to change the step time equal to one second right so don't wait for a long time right so i'm I, and also change the total simulation time equal to 2 right Next, I'm going to check the response. So, for that uh, 1000 watts per meter square, 25 degrees Celsius, the maximum power is extracted around 2, 250 watts. After one second, the irradiation changed from uh, 1000 watts per meter square to 500 watts per meter square. Now you can see that the power is uh, extracted around that uh, 
nearly 120 so it's oscillate around 100 to 130 watts per meter square okay so this is working of the p and algorithm so with the change in irradiation condition thank you